In this example, we have a plant represented by this transfer function. Here is our controller. There is a parameter in the plant called k, and we have this feedback loop with a derivative gain. We are interested in two things in this example. The first one is the time constant of the closed loop system, and the second one is the settling time to a step input of t of s. Let's just start with the time constant. To find the time constant of the closed loop system, we need the closed loop transfer function. That is y over r when t is 0. So the transfer function y of s over r of s is simply the line function that is k over s, s plus 20, divided by 1 plus the same function times feedback function s. The common denominator here would be s, s plus 20. So we can rearrange this expression as k over s times s plus 20 plus ks. And if you now factor s in the denominator, that is k over s times s plus 20 plus k. The problem says that a k is 20. So here we have 20 divided by s times s plus 40. Now looking at this expression, it does not fall into the standard form for second order equations. If you're looking at the time constant, we can look at s plus 40 here. And you know that the time constant is, is the unit that multiplies s when you have something at times s plus 1. You can now rearrange this expression as y of s over r of s equals to 20 divided by factoring out 40 here, 40s times s divided by 40 plus 1. Now this is the standard form for a first order transfer function. And what multiplies s in this case is tau, the time constant, and that is simply 1 over 40 seconds. And that's the answer to the first part of the question. In the second part of this problem, we are interested in the settling time within 2% of the final value for a unit step input of t of s. To do that, we now need to find the transfer function between the output and the disturbance t of s. And in that case, r goes to 0. Our input now becomes t of s, and we can rearrange this block diagram to account for that. T of s is the input, this negative sign comes from there. Here we have our plant, k s plus 20. Here is the output, y of s. And now the feedback line has two functions, this s and 1 over s. So when you multiply them, that becomes 1. So this feedback function here is a unit feedback function, s times 1 over s. Let's not forget that a negative sign there, that comes back here. Now the closed loop transfer function for this, ex this expression. Now the closed loop transfer function here is easy y over s divided by t of s is k over s plus 20 plus k. And when k is equal to 20, this is 20 divided by s plus 40. We are considering a step input to t of s, so y of s now is 20 divided by s plus 40 times 1 over s. Right, 1 over s is t of s. Now this does not fall into the category of equations that are developed before, before for a standard second order transfer function. So the way you can solve now for the settling time 
is to find the y of t and then see what is the value of t that will lead to 2% to within 2% of the final value. This will require partial fraction decomposition. Y of s is a over s plus 40 plus b over s. And if you solve for a and b, we get the following value. Negative 1 half of 1 over s plus 40 plus 1 half. This would be a 1 half over times 1 over s. So now y of t is the inverse of this. 1 half times 1 over s inverse is 1 half. And I'm factoring this 1 half here. So this becomes 1 minus the inverse of that exponential of minus 40t. Now we are interested in the settling time within 2% of the final value. So what is 2% of the final value? First, let's find the final value. The final value is the limit when t tends to infinity of y of t. That is 1 half. And you're interested in the value of t that will bring us to within 2% of that value, which means that our function here, t and y, is a function that follows an exponential curve. This is one half, and we want to be within a range of 2% of one half. So 2% above one half is 1 half times 1.02 and 2% below 1 half is 1 half times 0 0.98. So we want now to know this point here that will first take us to within 2% of the final value. That point now corresponds to 1 half times 0 0.89. So we are now interested in the value of t that will give us y of t equals to 1 half times 0 0.98, that is 0 0.49. And what is the value of t that will take us there? So we are now looking for the value of t that will take us to within 2% of the final value, that is y of that t, let's call this t1, y of t1, equals to 0 0.49, or 1 half times 0 0.98. How do we, how do, we do that? Well, that's simple. Just replace t with 0 0.49, and I'll solve for t. This is a very simple expression to solve. If you solve for t here, we find a value of 0 0.088 seconds. And this is the settling time within 2% of the final value.